So Metasploitable 2 is a free virtual machine running on Ubuntu Linux. So the operating system simulates a vulnerable server and system which you can try to practice your penetration testing with. There are a lot of vulnerabilities in this system, so make sure that it is not accessible from the cloud. So you can see from the setup here, I have Color Linux on the left side of the screen and Metasploitable 2 on the right side of the screen. So let's check out the network configuration for each of these virtual machines. So on the Metasploitable 2, we have IP address of 192.168.1.5 and the one on Color Linux is 192.168.1.108. So the very first step we can do is perform an nmap to find out what are some of the network services running on Metasploitable 2. So nmap-sv to get the version of each of the network processes as well as dash o to find out the operating system followed by the IP address of the target host. So what MM is going to produce to us, uh, what are some of the versions of each of these network processes? And then we can take advantage of, say, search engine and find out what are some of the exact vulnerabilities of each of these services. So over here, you can see the list of all the network services available and accessible. And for example, VSFTPD 2.3.4 has a very popular or well-known exploit. And at the same time, we also know that there is a OS detail of what Metasploitable 2 is running. And not only can we take advantage of, say, Nmap, we can also use Nessus. So let's log into Nessus to scan the Metasploitable 2. So I already done a scan uh, before this tutorial, and the scan took like 5 to 10 minutes. The great thing about Nessus is that it actually categorizes each of the severity of the vulnerabilities. So over here, you can see what are some of the critical ones, as well as the high, medium, low, and some which are more informational. So let's go ahead and click on the VS FTPD Smiley Face Backdoor. And Nessus will describe what this vulnerability is about. So an unauthenticated remote attacker could exploit this to execute arbitrary code as root. And so there will be solution for each of these vulnerabilities. So that's really good. If you're trying to report to your clients, not only must you show what, is the, what are the vulnerabilities, you also have to show how they can resolve these vulnerabilities. And if you scroll down a bit more, you can see that it is exploitable with Metasploit. So we can go ahead and go back to the color Linux and enter an MSF console to access Metasploit. So within Metasploit, there is already an exploit for VSFTPD v2.3.4. So we can just take advantage of it and push the exec execution of the exploit into the target host. Okay, so all you have to do is enter use exploit slash unix slash ftp slash vsftpd underscore 234 underscore backdoor and I hit enter and enter show options to see what are some of the parameters we need for this particular exploit so set our host which is the target address 192.168.1.5 hit enter and the R point has already been set for us at 21. So all you have to do now is enter exploit and hit enter. And the command will be executed and pushed to Metasploitable 2. And now we have the command shell. So let's see which directory are we in now by entering pwd. So we're in root folder. And we can do a show files and folders, ls-l. So let's go back to Metasploitable 2 and cd to root and ls-l and we can see that all the files and folders are similar so we already gained root access so once you've gained root, root access you can do a lot of things from here you can even do a cat etc shadow to find out what are some of the username and their encrypted password and then you can download them do a password cracking so the whole purpose of this tutorial is to give you an insight on how you can test out some of the penetration tools you have on hand on a slightly more outdated and vulnerable system like Metasploitable 2.
this is great if you're just starting out and trying to learn the fundamentals of penetration testing.